Jim, we just heard from the president out there in the Rose Garden. Uh, he says now that that census question on citizenship will no, will no longer be an issue for him. That's right, Wolf, a political retreat for this president as, as he is dropping his quest to add that citizenship question uh, to the 2020 census. He just talked about this in the Rose Garden a few moments ago, joined by the Attorney General William Barr and the Commerce Department Secretary Wilbur Ross, the president, saying he is now going to instead order all departments of the federal government to hand over to the Commerce Department uh, everything that they know, all of the data that they have on undocumented people here in the United States so the Commerce Department can essentially try to cobble together an accurate count, they say, of the number of undocumented people in this country. Uh, that is the president's uh, aim, uh, he is saying, in all of this. But uh, the big headline out of all of this is that the president is dropping this quest that he's been on for months now to add that citizenship question to the 2020 census. Uh, his administration went to the Supreme Court, was handed a defeat there, and then in recent days, People like the Attorney General William Barr were saying, well, they might be able to find another way to approach this question uh, in the census and perhaps have it tested in the courts. All of that was dropped, as the president said. He is now going to try to gather this data on the undocumented by other means. Here's what he had to say. Today, I will be issuing an executive order to put this very plan into effect immediately. I am hereby ordering every department and agency in the federal government to provide the Department of Commerce with all requested records regarding the number of citizens and non-citizens in our country. They must furnish all legally accessible records in their possession immediately. We will utilize these vast federal databases to gain a full, complete, and accurate count of the non-citizen population, including databases maintained by the Department of Homeland Security, and the Social Security Administration. We have great knowledge in many of our agencies. We will leave no stone unturned. Now, after the president finished speaking, he brought forward the Attorney General William Barr, who did a little damage control on the president's part and uh, claimed that the Justice Department could potentially bring forward, if they wanted to, a different legal challenge to the Supreme Court to try to insert that citizenship question in the 2020 census. But according to uh, the attorney general, it is not a legal question at this point. It's a, it's a logistical question, uh, as the Commerce Department has already started uh, the process of printing up forms and beginning the 2020 census. And so the attorney general there, Wolf, at the very end of uh, those remarks in the Rose Garden, was essentially saying that if they wanted to fight this out in court, they could, but they've simply run out of time. He specifically said, we are not backing down, but he was backing down. He was backing down. Not only were they backing down, he was making pretty astonishing admissions, right? So essentially what he was saying was the representations of the Department of Justice before the Supreme Court were false. They were admitting that they not only had access to other means of uh, ways to get this data, but that it would produce better data, exactly what the litigants had been arguing all along in this case. Not a single mention of the Voting Rights Act from the Attorney General or the President. That's the reason why the government had claimed that they wanted to, uh, to have this question in the first place. Trump also made an additional admission. He said some states want to draw districts based on eligible voters rather than population. That actually strengthens the case for the House of Representatives who are currently pursuing in, uh, censure procedures, uh, proceedings against Bill Barr and Wilbur Ross, for, uh, for saying that they were not being honest in giving the reason why they wanted to add this, this citizenship question to the census. And, and so really this was a, a sort of a complete reversal and, and cave. It was the right decision. There was no path, there was no lawful path to add this, but I really can't imagine that anyone in the White House is particularly happy tonight. Uh, David Swerdlick, uh, he could have done this from the beginning. The Commerce Department recommended more than a year ago that they use existing government data to determine how many citizens there are in the country. But he, he was insisting that that there be a formal question on the 2020 census. Why did he want that so badly? And he lost on that issue. Right, because it brings attention to the issue, Wolf. You could have some government researchers do this behind closed doors, scientifically or quiet, but that doesn't give them the political boost they need. Why do you do this? And why do you go out in the Rose Garden today and declare defeat? It's because they like this issue. They like this topic at the White House. It's better than Jeffrey Epstein. It's better than Iran for them. Whether they're winning or losing, talking about immigration for them, they think is a winner.